Hello, I'm Michael Diamond, and you're watching Muscle Central. Okay, this video, I'll be talking about the direction I think bodybuilding will be going in. Now, I don't think it's ever going to go mainstream, simply because uh, the stigma attached to it with steroid use. Uh, but I do think it's headed in the direction that I would call semi-mainstream, okay? Now, right now we have two main shows, two biggest shows in bodybuilding, uh, the Mr. Olympia and the Arnold Classic. Now, this year, making its debut is the Rocks Athleticon. Now, uh, the bodybuilding portion of it is going to be called the Icon World Classic. What we have with this is The Rock, one of the biggest names now in Hollywood, probably the biggest action, action star. He has a lot of pull. Uh, he can bring, he is bringing some mainstream sponsors uh, to his event. Uh, besides his pull, he has a passion for bodybuilding. He's, it's, yeah, he's in it for money, but it's more than just money. He has a passion for the sport of bodybuilding. And if you're going to be successful in anything, you need to have a passion for it. If you don't have a, a driving passion, chances are you're not going to be, uh, successful. So here we have somebody who has draw power, able to pull in big sponsors, mainstream sponsors, uh, coupled with that passion, I see it being nothing but a, a success. Uh, on top of that, it's rumored that there's going to be some pretty hefty uh, prize money awarded for the winners of the show. It's rumored that prize money is going to be bigger than the Arnold, uh, possibly rivaling or even surpassing the Mr. Olympia. Now, that is going to be a good thing for the bodybuilders because that will drive the people running the Arnold and the Olympia to find ways of increasing the prize money. Now, you have that coupled with what's going on now with the Mr. Olympia. Uh, last year, Robin Chang was out. Dan Solomon was brought in. Dan Solomon is somebody that's been in, involved on the bodybuilding scene for quite some time. And he also, like I stated before with The Rock, he has a passion for the sport. And passion, uh, the passion is a driving, helps lead to, is a driving force with being successful. Uh, he also understands uh, how to use social media which can also help broaden the bodybuilding audience. Now we have the sale of the Mr. Olympia. In recent years, it was owned by AMI. AMI, the people who bring you the National Enquirer. Uh, their sole interest was financial. There was no passion behind it. We have, it was acquired by Jake Woods, Wings of Strength, who puts on a lot of shows and is also solely responsible for keeping uh, women's bodybuilding alive. Even before this purchase was made, uh, he secured the return of the Miss Olympia. So uh, he has a passion for... The sport. So what we have now uh, is 
the emergence of an, another big bodybuilding show, which promises to give out big paydays, which is going to push the Olympia and the Arnold to increase their uh, payouts. Uh, we got The Rock with his drawing power and able to bring in mainstream uh, sponsors, which is going to help broaden the viewing audience for bodybuilding. Uh, you got Dan Solomon at the helm of the, of the Mr. Olympia running the show, who has a passion for it, who understands how to use social media to his advantage. Jake Wood, Wings of Strength, who acquired, who just purchased the Mr. Olympia brand, also very passionate about, uh, passionate about bodybuilding. The only possible scenario I see is uh, is something good happening. We're gonna bodybuilding is to start to reach a much broader audience. Like I said in the beginning, it's not gonna ever become completely mainstream, but it's gonna become what I call semi mainstream. Okay, if you uh, agree or disagree with what I've said, please let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share and by all means subscribe. Uh, do not forget to hit that notification bell. This way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. Once again, this is Michael Diamond, and I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.